Turkey's army mobilizes. Kurdish rebels take hostages. Tensions escalate in northern Iraq. Next on Global Pulse. Since the second Gulf War began, Iraq's northern region, home to the Kurds, has been the most stable place in Iraq. Now the northern border is beginning to look like a war zone as Turkey's military mobilizes to fight the PKK, a Kurdish rebel group. Recent border clashes resulted in 12 Turkish soldiers dead and eight still held hostage. As BBC reports, it's pushed Turkey to the brink of an invasion. Pressure for Turkey to invade northern Iraq and flush out PKK fighters is growing by the day. However, Turkey's leaders who reserve the right to invade Iraq still want to give diplomacy a chance. Baghdad now says it will no longer allow the PKK to operate in Iraq and will shut down its offices. Meanwhile, the Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan has been in London meeting Prime Minister Brown. In talks, he too said Turkey could not wait forever for Iraq to act against Kurdish separatists. The PKK, the Kurdistan Workers' Party, is a guerrilla group fighting for an independent Kurdish state for the past 20 years. Al Jazeera English was granted rare access to the group for this profile. The PKK are fighting for a separate Kurdish homeland from bases in Iraq. More than 30,000 people have died in the conflict since it started in 1984. They have planes, tanks and heavy weapons, but we have Kalashnikov's faith and the will. It guides us and gives us power over weapons. At the cemetery, empty graves are ready because the fighters know their struggle is still very long. These mountains will remain their home unless they say there's a political solution to the Kurdish plight. Unlike most in Iraq, Kurds are not Arabs. They are one of the world's largest ethnic groups without a country. There are millions living in parts of Syria, Iran, Turkey and Iraq. And as Kurdish language broadcaster Kurdsat shows, they don't support Turkey invading their territory. Protesters shouted the slogan, no to Turkey's military solution in Kurdistan, yes to a diplomatic and peaceful solution, among other slogans. Demonstrators condemned the Turkish parliament for its approval of an amendment authorizing Turkey to carry out attacks in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. That way, the Turkish army may launch attacks against the PKK, which is an internal problem of the Turkish Republic. As a Kurdistan youth, we are ready to shed our blood for Kurdistan lands. Turkey wants to invade into our lands. We are strongly against the incursion of Turkey into the Kurdistan region. We are partisans of peace, and we are not scared of Turkey's attacks. What does this mean for the United States? As ABC News reports, the U.S. is scrambling to prevent a new front from developing in Iraq. A Turkish invasion of northern Iraq, a region under American military control, would be an embarrassment for the U.S. We're just trying to protect you. It is the most stable and prosperous area in the country. And for Turkey, an invasion could derail its push for membership in the European Union and bog it down in a dangerous occupation. But the atmosphere here is very tense, and many worry another attack by Kurdish militants could provoke Turkey to strike back. Now, as Turkish warplanes attack rebel camps across the border in Iraq, the world waits to see if border skirmishes will become an invasion by Turkey into a region protected by its NATO ally, the U.S. For Global Pulse, this is Aaron Coker. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non commercial use only. Link TV is the only US network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world.